What's up, everybody? <clears throat> this is Emag24101 on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with WWE um, Breaking News. WWE Diva uh, Layla, well, former, I guess now, WWE Diva Layla, uh, retires from WWE. She announces her retirement. So, guys, this is um, as seen on well, WrestlingInc.com, is where I found it, and according to WWE, because WWE's listed as a new interview from Layla with Layla, who has announced her retirement, she commented on the decision. She said, um, you know, I feel like deciding to retire from the ring has been a hard decision to make because I'm passionate and I love performing. I've known everybody in that company now for nine years. They're family. I spend more time with the crew and superstars and you on the roster than I did with anybody else. It becomes part of your life. And not only that, it's hard to walk away from the fans. Part of me feels a little bit guilty for walking away because WWE fans are 100% loyal and have supported me since 2006. I wouldn't even have this job if the fans didn't vote it. Didn't vote me in uh, to be the winner of the Diva Search, but I was uh, uh, I was able to win that competition because of them, and I was blessed. But sometimes you just need to step out and take a risk and move on to the next phase of life. Yeah, Layla, I liked Layla a lot. I mean, she was sexy, beautiful, hot. You know, she had the body. You know, she, I th I liked her a lot. Um, I didn't. I mean, she's a former Diva champion. She was the play cool. I remember that was Michelle cool. She was attached. She she was a pretty good match. It's a storyline. She did a. You know, former Diva champion, if I didn't already say that. Um, you know, she did it all. I mean, I would say she's she's a really good Diva, I would say. She can wrestle. I mean, she was good. I think she was British, right? First ever British Diva or something like that. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Um, you know, kudos to her for congratulations to her. And she probably got a lot of money, most likely. And she probably got a family. And I don't really know too much about her, like in her personal life. But I know she was a Diva and she did it all. You know, now we all know this Divas Revolution thing, it's like the new Divas, right? You know, you know, new blood, and there it goes. I mean, we got no more Beth Phoenix, right? Kelly Kelly, no Lita, Trish Randis, you know, not all of them. Um, you still got Natalia, but when did she see I mean, I didn't see Layla really on Raw or SmackDown. If she was, it was rare, and she did compete uh, in the match, she probably lost. She was kind of like a jobber, to be honest, they didn't really use her that good. Um, They'd have her on maybe main event or superstars or probably live events or something. Now she also commented on what's next for her. What's next for Layla? To be perfectly honest, the first two weeks I'm doing absolutely nothing. She left. Uh, no, I have stuff that I, I would like to do. I would maybe like to do some TV stuff, whether it's in the States or in the UK. I talked a little bit about maybe going back into my dance background. I'm going to start uh, choreographing. About maybe going back into my dad, uh, going to start. Okay. It might even go back to the heat to start. Oh wow! Oh uh, yeah, I forgot she was on the Miami Heat. You know, basketball NBA basketball team. I'm a big bet. I'm a big basketball fan. Um, I'm a big basketball fan. I like the Bulls, Chicago Bulls, my hometown. Um, I like a lot of. I watch basketball, all the basketball games. But yeah, Miami Heat. She was a cheerleader actually. I forgot. Um, wow, on the, on the Heat. I, wow, that'd be cool. Stacey she started um, to start choreographing with them, and then, of course, I'm engaged now to my fiancé, Richard. We're going to get married, and then later on, I'm, in a few years, I want to have some kids and start my, my family life. And she said, uh, she offered these last words. Wow, she has a lot. Okay, she said, I'd like to tell W Universe thank you for always being loyal to me. They've seen me through my good times and in my bad times. And one of the first interviews when I went on the view search, I said to the fans, I won't let you down. I truly feel like I can walk away saying I have attained everything, anything any Diva was able to attain. I mean, guys, she was in the first ever Divas table match at WTLC 2010. I mean, she was the first Diva to win both championships, the Women's Championship and the Divas Championship. The first Divas in China, my bad. Um, I was able to be in Lake Pool, which is the highlight of her career. She just blessed in every way. I feel like I've done everything I would possibly have done with W, so I'm walking away a very happy camper, and I hope everyone else is happy with my decision, too. Um, thanks to W for giving me this amazing opportunity that has been nine years of, of seeing amazing things and meeting amazing people. I feel very accomplished. I'm walking away with a very happy glow in my heart. This is not a sad thing. It's a positive thing. I'm moving on to the next part of my life. Uh, she, uh, especially thank you to Michelle McCool because with her, I had the best two and a half years of my career. We're still really good friends, and I was privileged to work with and learn from her. And she also said, Kelly Kelly and I worked together from the get-go. I'd love, love, love to say to her, thank you so much. We had so much fun and became two friends, true friends. Together, Kelly Kelly and I learned how to wrestle. 
be, we became very good friends and we had so much fun together. I like I like to also thank Fit Finley. Yeah, Finley. Um, he gives the deal as 125 percent. He basically gave me my opportunity, started training me, and taught me. He became a father figure to me, which I never had in my life. Saving me. Um, he took me under his wing, and I'm forever grateful for that. And her last words would be that she like she'd also want to thank W's executive offices, WB's talent relations group, the travel department, WWE producers and uh, writers, makeup artists, and uh, you know the ones that do the merchandise, some stresses, and every other super fan do. Thank you, Layla, for all the memories, the moments, the matches, everything you did for the business in WWE. She had a great career. I'm gonna miss. She she will be missed. She could have been used better, but you know it is what it is. Not even don't last forever. She's in the business nine years. She's I mean, hey, she had a great career. Congratulations, Layla, for you doing what you're gonna do in the future. You had a good career. I like you a lot. You'll be you'll be missed, but it's sad to see it go. But hey, whatever you wanna do, I'm I'll support you guys. So thank you for watching and make sure to like this video, share this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Um. And I'll see all of you guys later.